Born on May 7th, 1996 and raised in Seoul, South Korea, Faker was raised by a single parent, his father, who believed that Faker was born to be a pro gamer. As a child, Faker played the MOBA Chaos, but moved on to League of Legends in December 2011 when he found the game while browsing the web. It didn't take long for him to become sought after by several Korean teams. However, having just entered high school at the time, the decision to turn pro was a tough one. In the end, Faker would drop out and join SK Telecom's T1 Secondary Squad, a team which was specifically built around his prodigious talents. The team immediately performed, topping their group during the OGN Olympus Champions Spring in 2013. SK Telecom will win a 52 minute game to get the 2-0 and come out of the group stage as a champion's winner with a perfect score. Well, that was... And eventually finishing third in the playoffs. Faker quickly made a name for himself. His solo kills against Ambition and a dominant game on LeBlanc against MVP Blue gained him significant attention. Whoa, whoa, Ambition! What Faker! just executes ambition in that mid lane. But it wasn't until 2013 Summer Finals where Faker would truly shock the world. You have just Faker nightmares. You wake up in a cold sweat. You're like, Faker's behind me. I know, right? I'm like, even though I only have a bat on the floor, I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here, Deathmark. Tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse, look at the moves. Faker, what was that? Faker with a huge what? play, the QSS. I can't the believe I just saw he that. actually won that duel. I can't believe SK that happened. SK Telecom I'm just charges mind. into the KT Bullets base. SK Telecom T1K wow. won their first OGN title that day, earning them a spot in the 2013 World Championship and giving Faker a chance to prove his medal internationally. SK Telecom T1K carved a trail through the events, sweeping Royal Club 3-0 in the Grand Finals to claim their first world's title. So it's up potentially going to go down. This could be a 20-minute game for SK Telecom. They will be the Season 3 World Champions here at the Staples Center. As if it were possible, his dominant performance on the world stage even further increased the buzz around Faker, and he was looked to as the best in the world. The most impressive victory at the end. SKT is the team. Faker and his team returned home on top of the League of Legends world and continued his nearly unhindered success. Oh, it's a little weird. He's actually got my yeah. eyes. Oh, Danny getting jumped out. There we go. Dada gets knocked back over the wall, but gets taken down immediately by Impact. Faker in the middle of everything going down after him. He'll get that kill. A double for Faker. He may not be done quite yet. Dandy getting chased. Banky tries to get there with Rappel. There's a cocoon onto Dandy. That's going to be yet another one. Triple for Faker. Actually, that's yeah, basically a quad. No, that is a triple. All right. They're going to get the mid lane. Yep. There we go. Plan. And, oh, they're going to come in. Faker flashes out of that solar flare, but madness in the mid lane. Faker picks up the first kill. They're going to be able to push back SK Telecom a little bit, but Looper behind enemy lines in a big way. Nade nearly goes down. They take down it very, very quickly. There goes Dandy, a double kill for Faker. Mata helping out a little bit there as well, but that is it. They're turning onto the Nexus, and SK Telecom has done the impossible. There is a perfect season for SK Telecom T1K. SKT going to go for oh, the win Nexus. GG coming up here, I feel, for SK Telecom. The Nexus is going to fall. Faker's just toying with his opponents right now, but it is Impact just chewing his way through the hit points. Faker, he's continuing to toy with his opponents off the side. SK Telecom, T1K of the All-Star 2014 Champions. The path seemed set to another world's appearance. However, Faker and his team would face their first stumbling block with back-to-back -back disappointments in the spring and summer season of 2014. With one last shot at Worlds through the regional qualifiers, SKT1K came up short to Najin White Shield. Three to one. There's the second, and there goes the Nexus. Najin Shield is going the world. What an unlikely story for Najin Shield. The disappointing finish to the year called for a change. Impact and Piglet left the team, and due to the removal of sister teams in OGN leagues, SK Telecom's two squads were merged into one, bringing in the fresh talent of Marin, Easy Hoon, Bang, and Wolf into the picture. For the first time, Faker had competition for his starting role, and he and Easy Hoon would split the duties throughout the season. The second Nexus turned down, a 
triple kill for Marin, and SKT with Tuff, with Izzyun, takes the 3-0. GG, we'll see you at the Invitational. Very good stuff. And SKT... Season 때부터 경기를 거의 반반으로 나눠서 게임을 했기 때문에 그거에 대해서는 많이 익숙하긴 했지만 어, 결승전을 안 뛰고 우승했을 때는 별로 그 기쁘... 기쁜 감정이 별로 없었던 것 같아요. 우승한 것도 기분이 좋긴 하지만 저는 좀 아쉬움이 많이 Despite the changes to their roster, SKT went 11 and 3 and were able to punch a ticket to MSI. There, they swept through the group stage. However, during the finals against Edward Gaming, SKT decided to start Easy Hoon against Pawn, a player against whom Faker had famously struggled. Right now, important to note that Easy Hoon will be starting in game one. As sad as I am to not see Faker for game one, I think it's a preferable choice of this. Yeah. Easy Hoon played the first three games, and SKT went down one to two. You're doing whatever they want at this point. The d SKT forced to surrender. There was no way they were coming back there. Backs against the wall, Faker was swapped back in for the fourth game of the set. Edistor stands a two-on-one for EDG, and as we see that Faker is setting up because he is being subbed in for SKT. Calvary here, Goro is trying to take everything. He goes down to bang, now 4-0-2. SKT very low, and this is gonna be the pawn cleanup. Shifts over the wall, no, that's Steph that goes over the wall. He's got the scrying orb, in the it, but again, a little too far ahead. Is it enough to pull the team back though? Megan throws everybody into the wall. SKT try to get back in the fight. He will not go down, that's Grievous Wounds. Now they're on to clear love. SKT has managed to get themselves in a good position, but they all have very low HP as they skirt around dying in this fight. Faker starts to pick up kills, goes in Zanya's. That's actually going to be a kill over to Bang, and they won't finalize. May go out. Faker gets the force pulse double kill. Min when minion waves on the way. SKT won, forcing a deciding game five. During the draft, EDG decided to leave LeBlanc open, a champion on whom Faker had never lost a competitive game. Good, he's come on, is he toying with everyone? Baker's LeBlanc, one of the best. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. He locks it in for game five. Baker has never lost with LeBlanc on the competitive stage. It was a decision that would go down in history, as the decision proved to be a bait. So Morgana is actually a lane counter matchup to LeBlanc. Baker would have to find other ways of winning this game, whether it's through ganking or through roaming. Statistical category yep. farm wise, which is what's keeping them back in this game. Right up against the turret. Is this the finalizer from Faker here? Can he clean up the fight? Koro a little too tanky for the damage they're bringing. There's the mirror image from Faker. Ooh, He's gonna start through. dancing around. Pulls back and Faker's good to go. Any of that crowd control from hurting SKT's disengage, but it's gonna be Bang put himself right in the fight. Koro's already teleported in from the backside as well. Bang falls down. Wolf gets one last passive control on to. Uh, uh, I believe Daft, and he goes down as well. The double kill finally coming in for Pawn. He's been looking to get something going on the Morgana. It is going to go over to Clear. Daft goes Faker. They take down Faker immediately. EDG could have eyes on the base. Marin's going to be a distraction, but he's going down very fast, even as Meganar. Bengi, Bang, and Wolf now trying to keep them from being extinct in the mid-season Invitational. Here's the last engage. EDG doesn't even see the turrets. Eyes on SKT. SK Telecom T1 are wiped. The Nexus turrets are going down. LPL's Edward Gaming are the 2015 mid-season Invitational champions. While Faker tried his best, playing well despite the counterpick, EDG would win the game and the MSI title handing Faker his first ever loss on LeBlanc. The loss left Faker distraught. Nagne coming in onto Faker. Faker flashes ahead. He's in trouble here. Faker turns. Does he get Nagne? He does. Wow, Faker, what do you know? He's really good on Victor. There's a double kill. Thinks Faker does. Can't get away. Now they're just going to try and set up a pick right now. There we go. They get it, Nogne in a lot of trouble here. He's gonna go down another kill for Faker, and Arrow completely caught out too. Why not? Give that one to Faker as well. Give everything to Faker. He's 5-0-1 now. <laughs>
After their loss at MSI, SKT bounced back. Soul gonna flash in, he's gonna take out oh, the Corky. My. Faker gets the Zodios, but he is not going to die in the end. Oh, Sasin, geez. Faker with a triple kill. Faker was returning to his dominant form and now had the opportunity to win his second world championship. SKT comes. On the hunt, goes in. That's going to be Hojin in a real sticky situation. He goes down a full three-man NAR ultimate. That's going to be SmackDown now. Eyes onto the AD carry, but the support hits. It's going to be Kuro out safely. Prey, however, has to run away from his base. SK Telecom looking to take down the final Nexus turrets. It does not look good for Kuro and his team. Ku Tigers are falling. SKT will be your first. First ever two-time world champions! No matter his teammates, no matter the opposition that rose against him, Faker and SKT proved to be all but unstoppable. Oh, <laughs> 때보다 더 많은 노력을 해서 유지를 하고 싶습니다. So with two world championships under his belt, Faker set his sights on the only international tournament he had yet to win, MSI. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the League of Legends Mid-Season Invitational Finals. We're After the disappointment of MSI 2015, this was Faker's chance to redeem himself. A few more seconds, but this feels like the final fight. Petrifying Gaze didn't lock anyone up, but the hammer did! Duke throws CLG into the air. He picks his hands up as SKT have got four members down. They turn their Attention to the Nexus and SK Telecom continue to rule the world and they are your mid-season invitational champions. The MSI coupled with SKT's triumph at IEM Katowice earlier in the year meant that SKT and Faker could complete the International Grand Slam with a victory at Worlds. And that right there makes it all worth it. But nothing worthwhile comes without a fight. Welcome to the 2016 League of Legends World Championship Final live from Los Angeles, California. Five games, I think this is going to be one for the record books, but SKT is the best of all time. Bang packing, there's not done yet. The Nexus turrets are the focus and staple center. Play the silver scrapes. Samsung and SKT are going to game five. As far as the map right now, oh, they might catch Faker. Faker's the target, but he tries to turn it around. Defensive flash from Ruler. Faker is shut down. Ruler gets the kill. Teleport's completed for Duke, as well as Cube. Unbreakable is up. Ash Arrow stuns up. Poor JJ. That's not the most important target. Oh. Petrifying Days flashed away from. Duke is caught down. Poor JJ licks him to death. The tower is the focus. Teleport the oh, yeah. All our camera oh, towards Cube. The Baron's already secured. Taken by SK Telecom. Cube finishes off the TP. Turns around to try and help protect Ruler. Chaos Storm will allow Ambition. See it's GA pops. Faker with SKT, they get another kill. Damsang are under pressure. This is buying time for those super minions to pour in. Kick around. Crown's able to flash so he doesn't get caught, but Kube's down. And it's a war of attrition. They're just waiting for them. Oh! them in a fight. Duke flashes forward, chomps down to kill Crown. SK Telecom have got two, make that three kills. The curtain call is a fitting end to the World Championship as Samsung Galaxy are being dove under their tower. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. The SKT reign continues. They win their third world championship. Despite a very close match, SKT came out victorious, solidifying back-to-back -back world championship wins to go along with completing the International Grand Slam. We have to highlight our world's MVP, who did some serious, serious work over the last month of competition to bring SK Telecom T1 to their third championship. And no surprise, it's the man himself, Faker. And you doubted him to fish you in your top 20. You know, this is a yeah, guy that you put number two. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, he's had such an impressive world's run. This guy is, uh, he deserves it. He's the best player to ever pick up a mouse and keyboard in League of Legends. Yeah. This also marked Faker's third world championship, making him and his teammate Bengi the only two players in League of Legends history to complete the feat. SKT and Faker return home to Korea as world champions once again, with an even bigger target on their back. But despite super teams forming to challenge them and significant roster changes along the way, Faker finds himself once again back at MSI, set to add another championship to his already stocked cabinet of trophies.
Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.